calling Gussie Freed or Fried? F F R I E D. Is that Freed? Gussie Fried. Have you ever I'd eaten call Fried Gussie? I don't know. Freed. Freed, freed Gussie. Have you ever had your Gussie Freed? <laughs> Have you ever your Freed Gussie? Have you ever had your program get all confused? He's out getting fried. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you keep your opinions to yourself. Right? We'll give her two more. That's one. It's your last chance, Gussie. <laughs> so much for Gussie Freed. Oh, I squash Gussie with my finger. Now we'll try... Uh, New York City again, another number. Uh, One, two. How about uh, AU? I'm not familiar with that exchange. What is AU? AU. Oh. Audubon. Oh, bird, bird. Uh, six. One. Two. Uh, uh, don't say it on the radio, on the TV. Here. No, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink the juice, don't say the number, Mel says. Listen, Mel, how come you're funny over there now? <laughs> We had just made the attempt to call Alice Hofstein, but I guess she's busy now calling Gussie to tell her that we just missed her. <laughs> now we'll try Ida Schiffman. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah? Hello? Uh, uh, who, uh, who am I talking to? Who is this? Uh, uh, this is Harold Fanker. At the end, see you are. Uh, I'll tell you why I'm, I'm, I disturb you, but uh, I'm watching uh, Channel 11, and I would like so much to see what's going on there. Would you be nice enough to, to snap it on and tell me what you're seeing there? Well, i tell you what. I have two television sets here, neither one of which work. You have two of them? Yes. Oh, you're just like in my house. We have one of them. None of them work. They don't work. No. And this, the third one went out. We have a lot of them. They're gifts from yeah. friends. <laughs> no, they're cheap gifts. Yeah, well, uh, sometimes if you have a lot of kids around the house, you know what I mean? They snap, snap, twist, bang, and boom, uh, no more yes, TV. I've had five children, so I know what it means. I have a boy now, I don't know. He's not with me these days. He's well, how old is he? Huh? How old is he? Well, I'd like to give a little background. He's uh, not very bright. Uh, he doesn't like to study. He's uh, that kind of a person. Well, that's that part for the course. Yeah, so what do you do with a kid like that? Belt him? Well, you let him go drink. You what? You let him go drink. Let him to drink? Yeah. Start Listen. him drinking. Then he'll shape up. Drinking? Yeah. What kind of a world is this to raise our children to drink? Well, it's much better than not drinking. <laughs> well, then. That's right. Then you must be a very fine person. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Do you drink? Naturally. Why not? <laughs> Listen to me here. Uh -huh. I'm listening. Would you like to have a one? Drink with me. What? How would you like to have a drink with me? Well, we can drink over the telephone. What? I'm drinking right now. You're drinking you right now. You are? <laughs> I'm going to join you right away. Listen to this. <laughs> you know, this is a nice way to meet somebody on the phone. I wish you had a connection that uh, I could snap your picture and you snap mine. <laughs> We'd know who we're looking at. <laughs> I'm tall. Oh, Mary. <laughs> That's right. Would you uh, please give me the opportunity of uh, describing yourself as to your figure? <laughs> I'm absolutely magnificent. <laughs> Are you a person that's nicely turned around, I suppose? Do you look nice and cute from the back? Well, if you like them upside down, I guess so. I believe you have a very nice personality. <laughs> listen, uh, listen, uh... You folks would like to see that album now, we, uh... Yes, just a minute. I'd like you to turn, over, turn you over to my counsel.
What did you say? That, that screech of yours is hurting my earlobe. Well, listen, that line of yours is hurting my whole career. <laughs> you know who... You're going out of business. What's that? Maybe you'll go out of business. <laughs> then you have to find somebody to support you. Do you have any idea who is calling you? I have no idea, but I hear lots of laughter in the background. That's right. Well, it's a program called Laughter in the Background. <laughs> and we're making the pilot tonight. We, no, we, uh... We haven't... I'm sorry, what? Forget it. Forget it. Listen, oh, if I only could. It <laughs> was, uh, pulling your leg, as the saying goes. He's the famous comedian Louis Nye. You familiar with Louis? No. <laughs> Listen, Young you, man, would you mind if you would you hold on while I can get my drink and my cigarette? <laughs> sure. Tell as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, I'll wait right here and you can go drink your cigarette. I don't care. That's not very tasty. I'll handle the joke if you don't mind. Uh, are you there? Are you back? Well, I haven't gone yet. Oh. How far would you have to go if I did release you? Well, through five rooms. And then I get back through five rooms. That means ten rooms, right? That's right. Or is it eleven on your side? Right. Five and five is ten. Okay. Listen, however, if it's a king size, maybe you could reach from the fourth room and get it or something. Well, I might try that. Uh, no, seriously, this is a television program calling you. You're not familiar with Luna. You, you know Mel Brooks, don't you? Nope. Have you ever heard of Steve Allen? Yes, he's a good friend of mine. He lives in Tudor City. He's not <laughs> Who lives in who, who lives in Taylor City? Tudor City. Oh, Tudor so. City. Steve Allen. My friend Steve Allen. Not yours. Oh. oh, you know a fellow named Steve Allen lives in Tudor City? Yes. Well, this is Charlie Tudor. <laughs> from Panic City there for a minute. No, seriously, what do you do? Are you, are you Ida uh, Schiffman? Am I what? Is your name Ida? Sweetie. No. Oh, what is, what is your name? Fred. Agatha. Agatha. Yes. Are you any... kind and good, by the way. Which means kind and good yes. in, in, the, in Greek, isn't it, or something? Mm hmm. Um, are you any relation to the Schiffmans? No. Do you have their old number? No. Because I've got your number. You want to bet? <laughs> What do you what do you do to keep yourself occupied, uh, Agatha? Well, it's rather personal, don't you think? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, Ida, you've succeeded in reducing this whole series to a shambles here. This may be our last phone call of the season. <laughs>